Everyone, I'm mine. I'm here as always, my co-host Matthew, and happy early uh, Canadian Boxing Day. That's what we're celebrating here today on the podcast holiday special, Canadian Boxing Day. Is uh, as you know, Christmas Day. No, it's on the day after. But we're doing an early special you know, so that people can watch it before or on Canadian Boxing Day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, of course this is your podcast holiday special. Um, Airing on Christmas Day as we celebrate Christmas, but everybody celebrates different things. But we did this last year. Lots of people had fun with it. We had fun with it. Uh, the idea behind it is this is a much like lower key, not like time sent podcast that you can watch like waiting for your family to wake up in the morning while you're building your new Lego sets or just whatever. Low key, just talking about the holidays, whatever. We had a fun idea planned for this. Uh, we were trying to think like last year we talked a lot about like our. Christmas memories and like our favorite Lego sets we ever got for Christmas. Didn't want it to be redundant last year, so I came up with the idea of what if we went through, it took a look back at old Lego advent calendars, yep. talk about like how they hold up now, what were the highlights, and what. Um, uh, we just opened up the advent calendar page of Brick, uh, on Brick Set, and apparently just, there's a lot that I've never heard of before. I want to just double check before we start going through. Your first set is 1076 Advent Calendar, right? And my first set is 129. Okay, okay, yep. I And the one after that is 2250? Uh, I have 1298-1076. Okay, 1076 seems to be different spots for both of us, but that's weird. Okay. okay well, well, we'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, yeah, so that's what we're doing this episode. We also have a few viewer questions, which we'll go through. Um, but yeah, lower key one, not going to be worried about uh, new. So if you guys have stuff going on, obviously you don't need to rush to get the finished. Just uh, just lower, low key episode to celebrate the holiday season. Yeah. Being filmed on the second, or I guess into the third, because it's going to be third in seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, go through it. So happy holidays, everybody. Hope you guys have a nice Happy holidays. Started. Happy holidays and a uh, Merry Christmas. And happy all the other holidays. Yeah, yeah. Well, happy holidays is all encompassing. So. Yep. Yeah, but if we're, I, I would specifically mention the holidays, but I don't know what date. Like, has Hanukkah already happened or is that late? I don't know. I think that happened close to a month ago. Oh, okay. Well, happy Hanukkah, everybody. We're a little late on that one, but happy Hanukkah. It was <laughs> the end of November into December. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start with these advent accounts. Really? Yes. So, Brickset has a list of every LEGO event calendar, and apparently there was some in, uh... Have the release date? They, yeah, no, they came out in the 1900s. Yeah. <laughs> 1900s makes them sound really old. It was like 1990. 1998. Yeah, the 1990s. That's different than the 1900s, I feel like. Well, it's technically true. Technically true, but that's like saying, like, right now is the 2000s. Like... Anyway, uh, which one do you want to start with? Um, well, let's start with 1298, because that is the first one. Alright, so 1298. Uh, this one, I mean, very simple start, but I think this is cute. I think I would have really liked this kid. Something I'm trying to figure out, do you get two Santa minifigures in this? Um, like it? Because there's six things on each page, so that would be 20. Yeah, I think you might get two Santa minifigures. I, I love classic Lego Santa. That is such a great figure. It is. I like, so much nostalgia to that. I remember I wa I don't I don't know if anybody about this. I think I mentioned or you did but there was this stop motion I watched on YouTube kid called the Lego Star Wars Christmas special. Yeah. And it was about like it was just like a parody of Star Wars where um Darth Vader was Santa's son. And they essentially like go back and recreate the original like like it was it was like um, Empire Strikes Back, but instead of Darth Vader revealing to Luke, it was Santa revealing to Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know, it's really silly, but it I found it to be the funniest thing they did, and they used the Santa. I I just remember really wanting a Santa minifigure, and this is the one they used up until like I want to CMF introduced the Santa hat, and that's when they started, like, actually making Santa his own minifigure. Yeah, no, this was, I think, up, yeah, for a good while. I... No, like, most of my childhood, this was the Santa minifigure that was available, so. This is a funny start. Like, look, uh, second, like, group, you have two of the, an identical whale. Like, they're yes. exactly the same. 
This kind of just looks like a creative box that like is also not. I really would love to see how this was like presented in the package. Yeah, no, this. <laughs> so fun. I I do love this though. This. Is... Let's not spend forever on each of these. Uh, next up, one zero seven six advent calendar. Six advent calendar. So it looks. Like this one, you get a bunch of little characters, and I don't know if there's like one central build or if that's with the pieces of everything else. Yeah, I I, I think it's with the pieces of everything else because it's got little. Yeah, yeah, I see that. No, so <laughs> that that cone out the front, I don't. The what? That like uh, printed uh, slope piece out the front. There could be something. I don't know. This is a weird one, though. Really weird, but <laughs> very fun. I like it. Yep, and then here we again have two Santa minifigures. I, I don't know what the deal is with that. But I'm uh, moving Listen, on. you just gotta celebrate twice. 2250, uh, we've got another really goofy looking one. And um, very similar to the previous and no Santa minifigure. This time it's a brick-built Santa. I kind of miss these brick-built uh, characters. I remember them from when I was a kid. Yeah, but... they, they phased them out when we were kids, but they definitely still exist. I had a few well, I'm older than you are, so, like... Yeah, yeah. They were... I, I probably remember... Like, I, I remember these probably up until, like, second grade or so. Yeah. So funny, though, and I love... What's this mouse guy? <laughs> I really like him. I like this bird to this, like, toucan. Oh. Uh, Very bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these really remind me of, like, the creator stuff of this era. I love it. Like, this is so funny to me that, like, oh, yeah, here's an advent counter with all these fun animals and Santa, and you can rebuild it into a spaceship. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is, like, cl this is, like, classic, classic Lego. Yeah, like, and I mean, it literally is, considering the time it came out, but they don't make Lego sets like this anymore, do they? No, they do not. And then it looks like there's a little bit of a time jump here going to 2010. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I have, I have 4124. Oh, wait, okay. It looks like uh, my... I have them sorted by year release. I don't know what you have them sorted by at the top. Okay, I, I have it set by, set number. That's why uh, year released. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. Okay. Two thousand one. There we go. Four one two four uses. What were these figures called? The... I think these were like either the juniors. I think these were like the juniors figures of the time. Yeah. Um. So it came with these guys. I love that. That one piece. Brands red, I would kill. Those were really popular with like the Harry Potter sets. Yeah, like those the, colors are. Really, I don't know. I've seen them like, Marvel, like, trans line. I will also say those are some pretty wacky hair pieces. I don't know if they were like molded to the head. I'm pretty sure they. Okay, you're right. Those are kind of reminiscent of what Lego hair pieces. Look like. Yeah, they they are honestly kind of fun. We once again get a brick built Santa, but this is really goofy. Very clearly, I'm like young kids, but. I like this, like, <laughs> Yeah, there he is. I, I like that thing on top with, like, the archway as its mouth. Yeah, that, that bird, and then that the thing that's, like, shaped like the letter N next to... Next to... Oh, yeah, what even is that? I don't know. <laughs> this one's weird. It is weird. <laughs> Why don't they make Lego sets like this anymore? I... Think this for... is awesome, man. This is so cool. <laughs> um, moving on, it looks like this 2002 one is literally exactly the same. I think so. Except... These are exactly the same. Also, these are $15. And back. Uh, 2000... 6.5 cent price per part. Take me back. 2003. This picture is really tiny. Uh. It looks like very similar builds that we'd gotten before. It was like a little monkey or something. Hell. Not too much to say if we can't see it. Yeah, uh, 2003 happened. I don't know. Uh, 2004, this one looks like older than the other ones in some ways. Yeah, is this... Look at the same as the other one. I don't think so, because it has a lot of creatures. Like, not creatures, they're like people, but... Oh, maybe. Um, I, I assume there's not additional. Can't really yeah. say much for... And then we've got a Clickets advent calendar. <laughs> what was Cl Clickets was like Dots beta, right? Uh, yeah, it was like the original Dots. It was more one like many, it was one of their many like attempts to make jewelry Lego, except it wasn't really Lego. Like it did not interact well with the system like Dots does. Like Dots is useful in the system, Clickets is not. 
Uh, I don't like these, like, Brat-style uh, characters. Yeah, those were, like, not minifigures at all. There were no click its minifigures. Very weird. I don't have it. Yeah, going back, which is weird, because, like, this doesn't even feel like that long ago, but it's pushing 20 years. Bro, we got two click its advent calendars and Chicago advent calendar. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, anyways, 2005. This is the first LEGO City Advent Calendar, and I remember this. I did not have it, but I remember it. Yeah, this. So I think this was probably the first Advent Calendar that. Advent Calendar. Yeah, I think I think you're right. It, although it looks like this had a ton of minifigures. I wonder if there are additional. Yeah, and, and not it shows the. Nine. Yeah, they're very simple, but yeah, nine uh, minifigures. Yeah. Santa's in sweatpants. And... Yeah, I see that. <laughs> awesome that's great um then we have click it's advent calendar number two holiday gift calendar I, I, yeah, yeah you're right this isn't lego this is just jewelry <laughs> yeah no it was a really weird theme i didn't realize this it's it, like so late like i thought like it was like uh the 90s i didn't realize it was no 2000s. most of the really weird lego stuff happened early 2000s huh. Like, late, late 90s, early 2000s. It's not as old as... I know Galador's are alert. Yeah. I don't know, I always kind of imagined it was, like, uh... Was... Uh, Fabuland. I, yeah, I was just around that time. No, that one was kind of, like, a fringe thing for... That lasted for, like, nine years, I think, dude. Really? Yes. Go off. Um... Anyways, next up, uh, the second actual city I've encountered. Let's see if this one has additional images. No. Uh, would, would we, I want more to talk about what we've started getting additional images. This is very yeah. similar to the other one with many, lots of billions. Yeah, although for $20 and nine minifigures, that is such a good deal. Oh my god, these just be $20? That's incredible. The first one was 15 Nine minifigures for $15 and builds. Whew. Take me back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Granted, minifigures look so different now. Yeah. But that, that's very fun. I like that one. Yeah. Uh, next, we have the Belleville Advent Calendar. I didn't realize Belleville was so late. Like, so yes. recent either. I, I didn't either, because I don't remember ever seeing it as a kid, but I guess, like, that's not ever what I would have been looking at. Wait, does the, uh... Does that cat mold come from Belleville? Yes. Like, the, the small cat? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, because they used that... That was just our cat for a long time until we got the modern one. Ending up, yeah, that's so weird. To think. Like, that's the same with the the Fabuland um lamp post. Yep. Where yep. like it was like, no, it's not Fab. That one was like the what? What was the like Barbie theme? Belleville? No, this is, is Belleville. Belleville. Maybe it was Belleville. I think it was Belleville. All right, so Belleville also introduced the lamp post. I, I think Friends by far does the best job of these types of themes. Well, because it still maintains Lego aspect. None yeah. of these did. No, Belleville did use Lego. They did use Lego, but the figures were Barbie sized. Yeah, they were not like a minifigure scale. Yeah, that's what that's where Friends succeeds. Friends is still Lego in a very traditional sense. Admittedly, are very weird. Not the biggest. Yeah, I kind of wish they went with just minifigures. Whatever. Um, next up, another city advent calendar. It looks like a ton of minifigures again. Probably oh, we have I... one additional image, just the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Maybe minifigures it's... again, just twenty-five dollars this time too. And no Santa that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, another city advent calendar the following year. We can't really say much about these. Yeah. A few more images this year. You can see some of the builds. Look at this classic snowman. Wait, I'm pulling it up. <laughs> and minifigures. Wow, that is a snowman. That is a snowman. <laughs> these faces are like these faces and minifigure parts are so nostalgic. I forgot how few like prints Lego used to. Yeah, make. that's that's something like we we kind of take it for granted nowadays. I feel like like fa things like uh, faces and torsos being like. Back in the day, we all, there was like a very limited number of parts, like how many. Like, yeah. it was rare that we would get a new. Why am I? Why is Brooks like? Had asked me, do I approve? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we got the Castle Advent Calendar. Oh my god, I forgot they did themed Advent Calendar. 
This is so good, dude. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at the minifigures that this came with. Black skeletons. Like, yeah. I wanted that figure so badly when I... I... Castle as a kid was one of my favorite themes. Like... I never got big into Castle. Castle was like the theme I would see in Lego magazine, but never buy because I didn't have... It wasn't cool. I, I just had other interests that exceeded Castle, I, so I never actually got any of it. You know, looking at this, I almost think it would be fun if we went back and looked at, like, themes from when we were kids as, like, individual podcast episodes as, like, a mini-series. That would be fun. Stuff like that all the time. But that would probably be pretty fun. Get this made mini here. <laughs> the Lego designs were wilded back then. <laughs> that is definitely one of the minifigures that exists. <laughs> it's a mini, that's one of the minifigures of all time. <laughs> it is. Yeah, this is... This this one looks cool. We can't see the builds, but the minifigures alone look great. And yeah, bring back themed advent calendars, honestly, because the next one's also themed. Next one might even be better. Next one we have is the pirates advent. Oh, damn. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Wow. What a. Yeah, they really. Oh, right. They actually didn't used to show everything. The additional. I just remembered that. Okay. They wanted to keep the surprise, so you don't wouldn't always all be all of them either. Dude, this one goes hard. Yeah, uh, shark with Is that what they're called. Yeah, swordfish. The mer the mermaids are really cool. Actually, no, it's not. I don't think that's. I think that's more of a saw shark. I'm not possible. Saw shark. Yeah, that's that's what. It is. Um, but what is this? Eight minifigures for what would have cost at the time? Um, Twenty dollars, I assume. Uh, probably twenty-five. They've gone up at this point. And these minifigures are really good too. Um, at the time, oh, there's no retail price here. Interesting. Probably about thirty dollars, but like, it's so good. Yeah. No, I, I would kill for more. Like, why don't they? Like, the city gets bored every year. Like. I know. Or if they want, like, just bury it up. Like, even if Ninjago Advent Calendar didn't become a yearly thing, getting it once, and then the next year getting, like, a Monkey Kid Advent Calendar, and, like, giving us some variety and some more. Agreed. And if Castle and Pirates are story, give us the Castle and Pirates Advent. Yes. No, this is my Joker origin story. I think I'm finally understanding the people who like Lego Pirates. No. Now I'm looking at this image, and I'm like, you know what? True. It's such a fun theme. Castle and Pirates should be mainstays. Yeah. Yes, kids. Unbelievable. All they want is their Lego like Ninja. <laughs> Alright, next we have another city event calendar. Um, I, I will mention, there's this tree that's displayed on like the main image. That is still used uh, like in builds today. The tree in the advent calendar? Yes. Really? Like, I, I've not, I don't know about advent calendars, but like, I feel like I still see that tree. Maybe, maybe like poly bags. Yeah. Um, and then next up, we finally have all of the like builds in the, the advent calendar. Yeah, so this is my first advent. Um, my first was the first Star Wars one. Um, this one comes with Naked Santa. Um, yes, it does. Oh my goodness, this is bringing back memories. Yeah, I remember that. That was so funny. I don't know why, but... It, As uh, a kid, I found that so funny. It, it is. It, it is so funny. Dude, like, this was my first advent calendar, and I remember I played with this for hours. Like, every single... I would open the new one every single day, and I got so... Excited. I remember I came up with my own, like, time travel stories that I was playing with just the advent calendar. That is wild. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, really weird too is this was $35 apparently really yeah that's what it says that means like city of encounters has actually gone down in price well, that's wild okay objectively this is far from the best but this is so necessary but, like the absolute joy of opening this every morning was so much fun yeah uh, this i believe this is the only city of encounter i got because and right yeah so the next year star wars started yeah but i my I the the skate ramp with the skateboard was really oh man I loved him with a like, really bad snowman build. All of that is like decent, especially for the era. And this brings back so many memories. You get you get the cat and the dog. I mean yes, yeah, like, that's what like there was so much here, and I, I remember I was always had to get the hot dog piece. I thought the sword was really... 
love the drum set. Mm -hmm. um, and the Naked Santa I found very phony. Naked Santa's funny. The drum set's good. This is a good one. Yeah. Uh, moving on, this Kingdom's Advent calendar goes, like, really hard, dude. My goodness. Wow. Like, that, forget... Loading brick sets. Forget this being an advent calendar. This is just a good set. Hold on, I... Uh, Rick's set, you got this. Come on, Rick's set. I'm having trouble just loading this. No, Rick's set's just having trouble in general, right? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I guess I don't need to look at the additional image. The, one, the main image. I really want to be doing the additional. What? I've not been doing the additional. Okay, so yeah, just looking at this main image here. Um, wow, yeah, you're you're right. This, holy crap, that's that, wow. I'm kind of blown away by this. I know it's like actually incredible. That wizard figure is awesome. I like the guy in the dark red. Yes, I think that's the king. Is that the king, very cool. Um, get good guys, get bad guys. This blacksmith figure, too. Yeah, this is, like, perfect. This is so good. And a pig. You get a pig. And an owl. And, well, owls aren't that. Yeah. Some printed, which I got used to. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is really good. This is really good. I would... Um, I wish we still got stuff like that. Next up, this is weird. The he advent calendar? Yes. Yeah, this is 2011, which is also the year Star Wars started, so this is when I stopped with... Oh, wait, did it, like, come with pieces? Yeah, like, I guess in the separate days, it was, like, a police advent calendar. That's kind of fun. Why does no. Santa always have sweatpants? I don't know. Maybe because he's a, he's a homeless man. Um, yeah, this is... That's interesting. I think, I feel like I would have liked that, though. I probably would have. Like, a Christmas-themed... I think that's so, cool. Some, something else I'll note, the Harry Potter advent calendar this year kind of does that, and it's awesome. So, like, it, yeah, it, it's good. I like this guy fish. Agreed. Right, next we have the very first Star Wars advent calendar. There it is. This Ooh, is okay, so this one. This was the start of something amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this was really, really, really cool. Um, where is it? Here it is. Here we are. Um, what is this? Ten years later and a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, very similar build. It is next to identical. <laughs> no, it's definitely updated a bit. Like A bit, not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Star Wars Advent Counters have definitely gotten redundant a lot, which we will talk. And so now that we're in, like, the modern, modern era of LEGO Advent Counters, we'll start, I think, talk about them in comparison to a little bit more um but this was a very strong start the highlight for me was for sure the astromech droid really? well that that figure only comes in this set and the death star okay um so i and this was funnily enough this was also the christmas i got the death star so i only got to enjoy like oh wow this is a rare figure for a moment until i got a second one but <laughs> um I'm looking at this. There's so much of it that's been reprinted. Yeah, no, for sure. But that, like uh, reprints aside, just as this was a very strong start to begin with. It was. Weird character selection. Like, look, like the the Yoda was cool, but the fact that it's Clone Wars is so upsetting. Yeah, this is before we had like an actual Yoda head. And, and we do have a Santa Yoda with a newer head. That's a gift. That. Yeah. Um, High Pilot was good. Clone Trooper. Astromech, great. Battle Droid is whatever, but they everything. Uh, this X-Wing pilot with an unprinted helmet is strange. I like it. Yeah, no, that one's interesting. I like any of the unprinted um, Chewbacca, name characters always straight. Um, Newt Gunray. Uh, <laughs> Fantastic minifigure. Yeah, what a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Very strong start, though. I loved all this. This was my own only Yoda figure I had as a kid. Me too. Which yep. is something that will carry over to the next one, because Darth Maul next, and that was my only Darth Maul. 
Uh, Remember I was playing with my Lego Darth Maul. I never had that one. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's a strong start. It definitely gets surpassed by future ones, but I like it. And only weapon rack. Yeah. I also like that it came with a proper Christmas tree. That isn't Star Wars. Agreed. Yeah. Alright, next. Uh, NDO Comic Con. I don't know what this is. No, no images, but as it's Lego Star Wars. Thing. My guess is it is just the Lego Star Wars out of Encounter in a different packaging. Yeah, it's the same piece. Count. Um, moving on, first Friends out of Encounter. Uh, this really shows you how much Friends has changed because this is very like classic pink, green, and yellow. Yeah. Um, this shows the flaw in Friends out of Encounter since, uh, for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. Which is kind of absurd every other advent calendar. Like, I feel like six advent calendar. Yeah. Unless you're this year's Star Wars advent calendar. Yeah. But there's technically some growth. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, I don't have too much to say. It's cute. Yeah. Um, moving on. Uh, City advent calendar. This one is like the police one except with fire, and I like this one way more. Yeah, I think this is fun. The Fires, fire stuff's really cool. I like how it's very, uh, the dog's yeah. cool. Billions, you get, and to, I think this one's solid all around. Played with outside, like, I could see a kid just throwing this in their Lego City collection. Something you cannot say for them. Yeah, no, they're kind of just, like, useless mini builds with. Like, they're fun, that's the, th that's my biggest thing with Star Wars, is, like, the, the figures are the only part that everything else gets the whole bag and tossed somewhere. Yeah, that's also why I've loved the Harry Potter one so much this year. And honestly, in years past as well, because they get really good prints and, like, builds that you can add onto things. Yeah. So Yeah, this is, this is a good one. I like it. It is a good one. Um, On a page. Star Wars 2, yep. Star Wars 2. Ooh, this is better than the first one. What? This one, I'm sad I didn't have this one. Jeez. Yeah, this one's really good. So, two exclusive minifigures... They're both the Santa R2 and the, uh, sorry, the Snow R2 and the Santa Darth Maul. Snow R2 is an amazing happy I, I'm sad I don't have that one, jeez. The, uh, Santa Darth Maul is also pretty great, um, other than that, the Gungan's kind of funny, like, everything, everything else besides those two are army buildable. Yeah, yeah, which is good, I think. It's also a total of one, two, three, five, six, nine figures. But this is good, and yeah, I this love is the, very good. The mini builds in this one are very episode one centric, but their episode one had some really weird and unique vehicles, so I think that's okay. Yeah. Also, uh, look at this ad at. Yeah, there it is. That's, <laughs> that's that's him. No, this is actually this might be up there in terms of like one of the best ones. I really like this one. I also like this battle droids army buildable, but also the red ones were rather uncommon. Yeah. I'm getting battle droid nostalgia. <laughs> I just remember I love just collecting the different battle droids. Yeah, me as well. Um, Friends, this one is almost indistinguishable to me from the first one. Yeah. And not much else. Yeah. Eh. Uh, then we're getting into City 2013. This is one of the weaker City ones, actually? Yeah, so this is one of the proper Santa figures, isn't it? Yeah, okay, yeah, I thought it, I think it was 2012 or something. Right, because I remember, I think this was also the year it was in the mini I remember being, like, really disappointed, because, like, I, I bought, like, it was the one time I didn't feel many things. I was up in New York and at the Giant Toys Store, um, and I just grabbed, like, five mini packets, from, and I got two of the Santa, and then the how, Santa how, proceeded to come in every set. How much did those, uh, five minifigure packs cost altogether? Oh, uh, $15. Yep, that's right. How much would that cost today? Uh, 25 So I guess the two Santas were kind of just bonuses. Because I paid full... I paid the modern day price for three. Yep. I also got the Laru, uh, Chicago, uh... God, I missed the giant New York Toys R Us fan. I... Yeah, this is... For Advent Calendars, but... It's got some variety. Spaceman's cool, I think. Uh, yeah. Dalmatian's pretty cool. Agreed. No, I mean, there's variety, but I don't love this one. Yeah, it tries to do a lot of everything instead of focusing on... I, I really prefer the focused advent calendars. 
Alright, next we have the next Star Wars Advent account. This one's also very strong. Yeah, I agree. This is episode two centric. I had this one. Um, oh, I didn't realize they we had an episode one centric in the. At the time of this thing's release, the um, young Boba Fett was exclusive to this. Yes. Um, so it had two exclusive figures: Jango Fett and the young Boba Fett. Uh, Astromech Droid. It was not exclusive. Hard to get. Other than I think it came in one other set. Yes. Um, the Scout Trooper was really good for. The Walk Village. From yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then the, the, the un like generic clone, generic battle droid, which are kind of lame, but they're fine to get. Uh, and then you guys called the bug guys. The emotion, which is a really cool minifigure. Yeah. So, yeah and, uh, um, we also got the uh, Geonosian droid pilot, which is cool in my opinion, and the. Uh, um, Endor Rebel Trooper, which is by far my favorite Rebel Trooper design, so it's a solid, in my opinion. Um, I do think uh, Jango Fett was a weird... like, oh, there's a million better choices, but... They're going for episode 2 here, so it works. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel like anyone else has a better choice, but eh, we've gotten weirder Santas. Which... Yeah. Got many Santa figures, and zero of them have been um, Obi-Wan. Yeah. Um, right. Another friends having thunder. I can skip these, honestly. Yeah, I, I'll take a quick glance at this. Help it. Nope. Uh, city for this year. I like this one actually. Yeah, this it feels very homely. Like there's lots of I like these little market stands. I I agree. love having a lot of fun with those. I feel like this would be a really good auxiliary to like the Winter Village sets. Yeah, very this, good police figures too. Yeah, this feels very wintry. I like this a lot. I really like the market stand. Agreed. Alright, next, the next Star Wars one. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, this is 2014. Uh, builds are interesting here. Um, but Santa, Darth Vader, this one's great. I love that yes. one. Oh, so here, Santa Vader, amazing. This X-Wing pilot with the markings? Yes. I forget what character exactly it is, but that's, that it's... was also, that was that I believe. It was Luke's Snowspeeder buddy. I can't remember his name. Yeah. And I believe he was awesome. Um, Snow Trooper, whatever. This Clone Trooper with a Santa hat is very funny. <laughs> okay, on top of that, that Clone Trooper also does include his helmet, and that figure goes for, like, a lot of money now, and it only came in a microfighter, so getting another one here is cool. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's a Phase 2 clone. Then. Yeah, because the helmet comes on, like, the weapon rack. Huh, yeah. Wait, really? That figure goes for a lot? It's like 10 or 15 maybe $20. Huh. I'll sell mine. Um, you can send it to me too if you want. <laughs> um, this is the weird Luke too. Yep. There's a, there's a lot of exclusive. I'm pretty sure this uh, this like Hoth Commander dude. Hoth Commander was exclusive, and Vader was exclusive, and Hoth, and so was the uh, R2 unit. The R oh yeah, shoot yeah. And so was the 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 pilot. I don't think the pilot was exclusive. I'm pretty sure this, in the snow speeder from this year. This year? Uh, like 2014, the year it came. Nope, he, he was only in this set. Oh, what? Yep, four figures were exclusive. Holy. Oh, wait, wait, no, sorry. The Je the Hoth General was not exclusive. The pilot was. Okay, okay. The so three exclusive, four. Wild, honestly. Yeah, this was a very good one. This was the last good one, file or no? Was, uh -huh. I think next year was the last good one. I think this is peak Star Wars anime count. No, this one's really good. Uh, builds are fun. Mini figures are amazing. Yeah, no, yeah. no complaints. Agreed. Um, another friends one. These are really disinteresting. I like. Yeah, the they're all the same, and they only come with. Yeah, um, and they're not mini figures that interest me. So. Oh. Uh, next we have another city one. This was decent. Um... It was okay. It feels a little weak to me. I like the little ice. Oh, you know what? I think I had this one. Yeah? I did not do it daily. I got it, like, on clearance after Christmas, but I have that little spaceship, and I remember building all of these all at once, because I love that spaceship. Oh, yeah, the spaceship in the back's actually... But I feel like overall it feels a little aimless. Yeah, it is. There's some sure. cool things in here, but the 
aren't that strong overall. Um, yeah, I'm positive I have this one. Like, I got it on clearance or something. But, Very cool. Yeah. All right, next we have the next Star Wars Advent Calendar. And, th yeah, this one was... I, I love this one, actually. This is... Okay. I'm kind of upset. I don't. I don't have this one. And it, it, I really like the the Santa and the Ewok. Yeah. So this one came with Santa three PO, which is a really weird choice, but I love it. Uh, R two with reindeer horn. Yeah. Very simple make, but really cool build. Um, the rest of these figures of figures though, I think are and every counter solid. Uh, Ewok, I think was Jawa was not exclusive. Very hard to get. I really want more Ewoks, man. So, um, hopefully, if we're getting hot fish and or next year, that would be cool. I don't know. Well, I mean, they just introduced a new scout trooper. I mean, that came out already a couple of years ago. I guess 20, so. 19. Oh, yeah, this is the one that came with the Java sail barge that connects to our life. But yeah, this is this might be my favorite year for Bill. Yeah, no, the builds here are pretty fun. Honestly. I love the Ewok Village. I love the Starlight Pit and Sail Barge. The this is a really good mini ad at. Yeah. I still have this one together. On display, I think. I love it. The mini Death Star is really That's not a Death Star, no, that's the that's cannons. Ion Cannon from Hoth. And that looks a lot like the Death Star. A really great stormtrooper, Hoth Trooper. Yeah, no, that's my favorite Hoth Trooper figure we've gotten so far. Yep. The twenty twenty one ones might top that one, but that one is really good. This is gonna be Star Wars nostalgia. This makes me want to buy Hoth stuff on January first. <laughs> I'm buying Hoth stuff January first, man. Yeah, this is a great advent counter though. This might be my. Favorite. No, I, this one's solid. Like, oh no, that that's why I love it so much. There's no prequel stuff in this one. No, there is not. That's why I love it. Yeah, this is the best advent counter. Okay, um, moving on. Uh, we've got the Christmas build up, dude. I cannot believe this is already five years old. I remember when it came out. I've never heard of this. It was like a set. Uh, you. It was like a gift of purchase set, um, and you rebuilt it every day. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Weird concept, but interesting. That's it. Or it has two hundred fifty pieces. Yes. Free. Huh. Uh, yeah, gift of purchase. It says it here. No, are you sure you rebuilt it every day? Um. Oh, m maybe they are different, but. It looks really cool. I haven't got. Agreed. Like little birds. No, they're in Create. Little birds. You could literally buy a Creator set. I know. Or I could just, you know, these parts come in like every. Yeah. Um, anyways, moving on. Um, we. Friends. Another friends. It looks like the other ones. Uh, look at that camera. That's a really good bit. Four parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, another city. This one, I like it. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I like that hockey net build a lot. Hockey net's cool. I like the the firefighters playing guitar. Uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> it feels very homely. Um, Santa's got a husky uh, driving the sled. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this one's solid. Not the best, but good. All right, then we got 2016 Star Wars. I think I have this one. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, no, sorry. Okay, it's not the beginning of the end. It, this one... This one might be the best, actually. This one's really good, because that Hoth, Rebel Trooper's fantastic. The Bespin Trooper's awesome. Like, this this is really good. I, I have this one. This is a really yeah, good Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got I got my years confused. 2016. 2017 was the way when the, the Advent Couch took it. Yeah, this one, this one is probably the best. Probably yeah, the best ever, honestly. It's better than the Mon. Yeah, no, this is solid. Really good for your stuff. Uh, every figure in here is amazing. This... The uh, yo in it is and remains exclusive. And it's Chewbacca really is obviously exclusive. This is our first time not getting a shirt with Snowy Chewbacca instead, and it's awesome. That's okay though. Yeah, it's no, it's genuinely awesome. It's such a cool. Thing. Um, we're, getting, we're getting another Snowy Chewbacca uh, twenty twenty two. Very different kind of snow. Yeah, yeah. Um, the stormtrooper, great army builder, Hoth guy, as you said, great. Uh, Bespin and Death Star. Death Star Trooper? Is that what those guys are? Uh, yeah, that's a Death Star Trooper. Yeah, those guys are both great. The Snow Trooper's a little weird because it's older Snow Trooper torso and legs, but... The... Wait, what? They introduced a new Snow Trooper helmet. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, that, the new Snow Trooper helmet came out in 2014, though. Like, I don't... Yeah. But... No, wait, no. 
the one you're thinking of that was the 2014 one this is the newer helmet with like the older body yes that's what i that's what i just oh okay sorry it's like it's a weird mishmash of parts where the newer helmet board um that's a little weird but uh for everything else is so good that it doesn't bother me <laughs> um yeah the repo called technically Wait, do 3PO. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the Silver Protocol Droid is by far the highlight of this, along with Baka, but everything else. Yeah, this is very good. Um, Next is another Christmas build. These are cool. Yeah, I bring them. Um, friends again. Uh, it looks like a Friends Advent calendar. Hey, this one, oh, I was going to what? say this one looks better, but then I realized it only has one figure. But more, more animals, which at least keep some characters to work with. Yeah. So, for the target audience, I think this... Look at that. Look in the bottom right corner. It's like four pieces. <laughs> uh, friends. Next up, we're getting the, uh, the Ninjago advent calendar, because this one comes with the Mistake. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> um... No, so this city, I'm like, whoa, well, look at the build on the top left. I love like, that. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. That's all. I want just that. I have to say, also, some of these vehicle builds are quite good. That helicopter, it, like, second row is really cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, these, uh, yeah, just pretty good. I like the guy all the way on the very right side. Agreed. No, that's a good figure. Definitely, I feel like they not as strong. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. That's a good build. Uh, next, then we get into the Dark Ages of the Star Wars app. Yeah, I don't think I have this one, but there's no Santa minifigure here. What do you mean? Yes, there is. It's the very last one. Sean. That's Santa. He's got a Santa hat on. <laughs> now, not to get political, but this advent calendar is not very good. <laughs> I would, I'd go further than saying it's not very good. I'd say it's terrible. It's probably the worst Star Wars one. I, where, I don't... where do you even begin with this? So, okay, Look. it's not even all bad. It's just, like, it's all sequels stuff, like... No, no, this... it is all bad. I will show up and say it's all... The the highlight is the, the girl from Rebels. Great figure. I didn't have her. Great to get her. Sure. But, like, I'm fine with... I like sequel stuff, but they picked the worst sequel figures. Yeah, like, why didn't we get Ray or something here? No, so we got Uncar Thug and Chris Pratt. Yeah, what's with that guy? I don't know. He was exclusive technically, but he was just like a... Chris Pratt's face. Um, The Imper the First Order guy, whatever. The Stormtrooper, I guess, was nice to get. Snowtrooper I didn't have, so that's kind of cool. And I don't even know what the black suit guy is called. That's actually from Rogue One. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I didn't realize... Okay. Row one guy cool, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just, like... It is. It, a lot of this feels like production, like, things that were overproduced. 100% that's what it looks like. There's no... Uncar Thug is not a figure. That's not a minifigure. <laughs> so no battle droid. Come on, Lego. I know. Um, yeah, Uncar Thug's not a minifigure. Uh, nobody wanted the snow because they weren't in the movie. They were in the they were in the third one. They were in the third one, but this came out before the third one. Yes, this this came out in 2017. And Santa BBA is the lamest they've ever made. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't even try. There's no exclusive print. It is just BBA with a Santa. Yeah, it's just BBA with a Santa hat. BBA was very. Yep. yep. That this was a bold choice. It was entirely Rebels Rogue One, Rebels Rogue One, and. Uh, Force Awakens. Yeah, I don't have that one. I'm not missing out. This didn't do the sequels any favor. I I love this. I I do like some of the sequels, but it, this is not gonna make people like the sequel. Yeah, my count. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the best friends advent calendar. There are no figures in this one. Nope, it is just like weird mini builds. That being That's... said, these builds are kind of fire. Yeah, there's a tic tac toe board which is really clever. Um, I like the little like white snowflake made up. Yeah, a lot of these look like they're designed to be Christmas ornaments because they have clips on top. Oh, you're right. This is actually cute. I like this one. Yeah, like, this is cool. Like, uh, one, yeah. They could have thrown in one or two figures. 
In fact, I think all of these are designed to be Christmas ornaments. Yeah, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Huh, awesome, okay. I do like this. Yeah, that's clever. Right, um, next city one? This one is generic. Yeah, I, I look at this and I my brain doesn't track anything. Yeah, I, I feel that. Spaceship's a lot worse. Than Let me see it. Not uh, a brain. Oh, yeah, no, not even close to the other Dude, the I other... do like the little toy robot, though. Yeah, that guy's funny. I like the drone. The drone's kind of sick. That's about it for this one. Moving on. Um, next Star Wars Advent Calendar. Ooh, I have this one. Some of the figures are very good, but this is not a very good Advent Calendar. It's a little bit better than the preview, just because it threw in, yeah. like, two like good figures. Also, but... no, no Santa again. No Santa... The closest thing we get to with Santa is uh, the snowman. Yeah. But the snowman is really good. I like the red dude from Wars Awake. Pilot. The blue pilot is exclusive to this set, and that is a really good figure. Yeah, a really good figure. Face print. Well, I will say, though, I do not have that figure together because I used the face print as a Chris Hadfield for my, like, spaceship. <laughs> like, you, you know the astronaut? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I use that face for. Um, you know they'll scrape the bottom of the barrel when one of the Freak Maker Adventures happened calendar. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rose, I didn't have, so I was happy to get her here, but she did come in a $20 set. A $30 set. A $30 set, right. Yeah, it's it's weak. No Santa figures. Really. If this had a Santa figure, <clears throat> it would be... This is definitely better than the but it's... No. Okay, moving on. We got another Friends one. This is also doing the ornament thing, except it also did include one minifigure. Okay, um, this is... I like this one. Yeah. Our best do, friends I've encountered. The gingerbread house is awesome. I really like that. Like the little, little robots. The snowflake is really cool this time around. Yeah, no, this is, this is fun, actually. Yeah. Um, and the city... This looks solid. Um... Figures look yeah. really good this time. Yeah, I actually looking at one of those torsos that kind of, that looks really good. I like that. I love the hair piece on the older one. Agreed. I've never seen that piece in that color. Oh my god, the kid has a propeller hat. Oh yes, he does. I never, I never thought about how those pieces could. Yes, they can. Goodness, I need. Um, it comes with Garmadon's hair, which is kind of cool. Um. Oh, it sounds like Garmadon's hair. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, the builds, I feel like, are a little weaker than other years. Yeah, uh, next up, this African calendar, besides not having an actual Santa, I like. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and at least the, they won the BB-8 route where there is a Santa. But no, I, I agree with you. I like every figure in this, this one. Um, lack of a Santa's link. This is my only, re like, Rebel fleet trooper, and that's one of my favorite Star Wars character designs. Like, I don't like it. I don't know. I want a battle pack of them so bad. That, that, that's my number one battle pack. Freaking three of them and either a red one or Captain Antilles. Like, give us a Rebel tr Fleet Trooper battle pack. They are literally probably my favorite trooper in Star Wars. They look so good and I want an army of them. This this Avon counter is definitely carried by the old man. Yeah, that figure's <clears throat> incredible. The newer Chewbacca is also go good. Um, I had many of them. That's also... I common minifigure though yeah but I, I don't know i feel like a lot of kids i feel like there's a lot of kids out there who get advent encounters and don't get a ton that's so getting a name character like i would like to know also some of these builds are like good outside of the context of advent calendar like we get the um we get the mylock i think it's called or my and that's really cool we got a mouse droid we have a um heavy uh first order stormtrooper gun here which is cool also getting that gun in white is cool yeah i think that's the only time we've gotten in that yeah i like the gun <laughs> Droid, um, and the rest is like okay. Yeah, the Gonk Droid presence really cute. Uh, and then we have Porg Santa. Is that what they were yeah. called? Porgs? What? They're called Porgs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Pog Champs. I love the Pog Santa. <laughs> yeah, we got a Pog Santa. Which is lame, but. Yeah. A little bit better than BB 8 because the first were less common. Yeah. Yeah, uh, figures good this time around, so are the builds. Yeah. Far uh, from the best, but good. We've got the first Harry Potter advent calendar, and the Harry Potter advent calendars are my favorite advent calendars, especially after this year. This year's is incredible. Um, but looking at this, this is solid. Like, this is really solid. The builds are good. Uh, 
The exclusive Harry and Hermione tour is great. No, it's uh, Harry and Ron have exclusive. Harry Actually, and Ron, I, I pointed to Harry and Ron and I said Harry and Hermione. So Harry and Ron are exclusive. So is Professor Flitwick. And I think Hermione's torso might have been exclusive in this. But you also got a Dumbledore and uh, McGonagall that were exclusive to a $100 set at the time. So this is solid. Like, this is good. I really like the Golden Stack. I didn't have this one myself, but my did. Mm. I got to see all of this. Yeah, this yeah. one's pretty good, I'd say. I do, I do feel like some of the builds got a little redundant. Like, the, getting the flags four times yeah. and getting, like, three different trees. Like, seeing her open it, like, a little redundant. I also, with the present, I think the present boxes were split into two days. Yeah. Um. So, it, it got a bit redundant at times, but the overall sum of what you get here is good. It's just it wasn't, I don't think it was. Yeah, I, I could see that. But overall, like, it is good, I think. Yeah. I yeah, know, and the, the figures are by far off. Yeah, the Harry and Ron, I forgot about those. Those are really good. Yeah. Um, H3. Oh, we have another friend. How long is this, by the way? What? How long is this going to be? Uh, I don't know. Until we're done, I guess. We're 52 minutes. Okay, but there's no like time crunch here, because it's kind of... Like, yeah, no, one... and... Yeah. It's, it's a casual thing. I'm uploading it on midnight on... Okay. Um, this friend's one... Good, honestly. Um, yeah, I love the elves. I love the elves so much in this the, one. The elves are really cute. I I didn't realize we actually had elf hats with plush Tony. I didn't either, and I kind of want one now. Um, this Mrs. Claus figure, right? Um, yeah, almost got a mini figure. Yeah, I guess we never talked about that on the podcast. I guess we can talk about that after. Yeah. No, this is this is actually one of the better friends ones as well. Oh, four figures. A, uh, uh, Batman? Yeah, yeah. Alright, next we have the City one, which is very V. Oh, this was the first one we based on, like, the Lego City. Yeah, yeah. Um. Some of the figures are definitely good. I like the cop and the, both cop. Top of the mail. What head is Mr. Santa using? Uh, that's the mayor from... It's that, I'm pretty sure that's the face print with uh, the oh, yeah, gray it eyebrows. Is. It is. Okay. Um, black hair piece printing on good, but. Agreed. Um, I don't know, this one feels a little aimless. Not a fan of running the city Avenue account based around the show. The city has always just been a Christmas act. Agreed. Yeah. It's never been specific. Well, I guess we have the fire in place. I, I feel like this is the. I agree. Guy police. Yeah, yeah, this is not the best one. All right, and then we get to last year Star Wars Advent Calendar. Yeah, yeah. The last year Star Wars Advent Calendar is up there. Dude, there really were not that many. There were two bad Star Wars ones. Yeah. But, I don't know. At the time, getting two getting two bad ones and three in a row without a Santa, that's mm -hmm. what powered me away. This one's really good. This one is really good. So I don't like the top down. We're we're not getting Santas anymore, but we are getting like holiday themed ones, which yes. I actually prefer. Yeah, no, that's that's okay with me. I don't as long as <laughs> there's an exclusive holiday mini fate. There's actually two in this one. Great. Yeah. This was to tie in with the special that came out on what Disney Plus. Yes. Uh, which was great. We reviewed that one last year. So I love. It. I, I didn't actually finish watching it. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually a really good one. Mm -hmm. uh, the exclusive Vader and Poe, both amazing torsos that you can very easily take off of them. Whatever. Yeah, no, those are great. And they go, spoiler alert for this year's, we are getting, I'm sure most of you know, but, oh wait, no, it's Christmas. This is coming out on Christmas, so yeah. there is no spoiler alert. Advent calendar's over. Um, this year's is the, like, holiday Mando, and I think that one works so well with these two, because they're, like, not Santa, but they are holiday-themed. Same with yep. Grogu. Like... They're holiday themed. They're not Santa, and I love that because we also we also get like a Dio with the Santa hat, and which is awesome because I didn't buy any Rise of Skywalker sets because I didn't like that movie very much. But getting oh. Dio was nice because he's the only character I really cared about getting. There's also a snowman gonk, which is great. I love the pit droid here, and we get another Porg, so that's cool. It's really good. Yep, uh, Stormtrooper, nice to be army built. Uh, this Luke is whatever, but cool to get him, I guess. 
and the Sith Troopers. Yeah. Love those figures. Yeah, this is a this is a really solid. I still maintain that I think twenty six is probably bad. This one's good though. Yeah, very good. Um, next up, Harry Potter. Uh, this is my personal least favorite of the three Harry Potter advent calendars, but also because I do not like the fourth movie or book that much, and the Yule Ball is like really overdone already in Lego Harry Potter, and it's not even been around that long, and I'm so sick of getting Yule Ball stuff. I this sh- is Harry Potter advent calendar I have. You have the worst one, dude. Yeah, well, I got it because it's like... Oh, okay. Um, and... I, I I like some of the builds, the tables. I I like the golden egg on the couch. Yeah. Uh, there's some fun stuff here. The minifigures are okay too. Um, the fact that it was only two of them are the belt. Yeah. Just with how similar they are like. But so three exclusive minifigures is kind of nuts. But yeah, it's cool. But then also two of them are the. So. Yeah, but I it's, mean, are, the the torsos are unique from each other. The torsos are unique, but the head and hair are exactly the same. Like, I I kind of would have preferred they just gave us one Patel, but another one in the following. Year. Yeah, well, whatever. Gave us something else, but I don't know, the the fi- the figures are good with the character. Um, yeah, I agree with you. These probably the just I think this one's probably more fun to build daily than no, the... you're, you're probably right i did not do this one daily i got this i got two of this on clearance i think for ten dollars each so <laughs> yeah but i think it's more fun to build than the previous one but the other one definitely a bit yeah i agree yeah. another friend's one now now they're all babies um i, I like the baby minifigures though they're funny nice hair piece back i guess but this this one's solid it looks yeah, I, the builds are decent too yeah i like it if friends I think Friends Advent Count is the final figure of the sale app. Yeah. Um, Agreed. Alright, so next, this is this this year's? Yeah, it is. I actually have not looked at this at all before right now. It's not that good. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Um, I like the girl with the or- hair. That's awesome. Yeah, I, that was like a, that drew my attention. Uh, the hockey player? Hockey player girl. On the left. That looks like one of their generic like prisoner torsos. I think it is. All right. Car- Carol Caroler is a. Dances. Is... Yeah, I I don't like the calendars. Or are they just? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one, honestly. Uh, and then we have this year. Which, uh, we haven't seen, as of us recording this, we haven't opened the final two days. Yes. Well, well, yeah. Um, this one, I'm gonna be honest, is one of the week. Yeah, no, this is very mid-tier. Uh, I, I, I love the exclusive Ando and great, finally getting a Grogu chair, even if it is. Yes. Um, and the figures we do get are pretty solid, there's just not enough. Yeah, we only get, what, four? Four full me figures plus Grogu and what's the IG George? IG eleven, yeah. So I will say though, some of these builds are like decent. I do like the um, interrogation droid. I did not have one of those before, and I, I think it looks good. Yeah, that came in a pre. I had the uh, um, two, three weapon racks is really lame. Um, yeah. I the the targets that we got the one day, I think are the take the cake for the worst having a hunter build ever. Maybe. Yeah, that was really lame. I do like the little speeder bike, though. That was fun. Yeah, speeder bike was fun. Very simple. Uh, yeah. yeah. Being entirely themed around Mando, I feel like, really helped the back. I think that all this Mando stuff, but, like, for the days that I didn't have ideas. No. Agreed. But, yeah, I, I think it's the, the exclusive figures. I've, I've enjoyed it. I wish there was more. Uh, four figures, and the I- IG Eleven like it's a good figure, but he's coming out of an account. Or not IG Eleven. We've had IG Advent Calendars before. He's coming other Mando set, other Mando set, so a little. Yeah. Uh, moving on though. First Marvel Advent Calendar. First Marvel Advent Calendar. I have this one. I might pick it up if I see it, but. So my thoughts on this one are: so yeah, the the. Left for me. 
Okay. Um, I thought this one our figure selection perfect, like pretty much like eight mini. They're all like named characters. It. Before yeah. this Iron Counter, I didn't have a Captain Marvel at all. This version of Black Widows. Yes, you did have a Captain Marvel from the uh, Polybag. Oh, that's right, that's right. But I didn't have this version. No. This version's really good. Uh, Black Widow's great figure. The exclusive Spider-Man and Iron Man are both great. I like the Snowman Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, I will say, though, the non-mini builds are kind of lame, because not like Star Wars with a crawl from, from yeah. so like a bunch of these, like one, they have like a table with a burger on it. It's a reference to uh, the burger. Yeah, uh, like the mini helicarrier and when Jet, I guess, are cool, but... Yeah, I don't know, I I think they I, I don't know what they would do. Because there's not even, like, pick a location a Harry Potter had. Yeah. How to do this better. But the builds definitely felt a little boring some days. Figures, though, definitely make up for it. Eight, like, eight full figures, all, like, named important characters. Didn't get, like, ACU. No, that's Jurassic World. Uh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean, though. Uh, out, like, there's no Outrider. Every character is significant. I like yeah. that. Agreed. Um, so I, I, I am happy with this one overall. I'm. Uh, and and it, actually, this one does take the cake. Day of any. Yeah, yeah. Because the the power blast pieces for an entire day. And there was no build. It just said, "Here, here's the bag of power blast pieces. Have fun. Add them to your Iron Man, I guess, if you." <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> um, moving on. Yeah, moving on. I have this year's Harry Potter, which I do not have, but you have, and you really like. This is okay. Now that we've looked at every Lego Advent calendar, I can firmly say this is the best Lego Advent calendar. We've really? Had. Yes. So I, I still think twenty. Not only is the day to day like really fun, it is designed in a way that can be played as a game. Yeah, that is really. Um, and not only that, it includes accessories from like the very beginning of book one till when Harry gets to Hogwarts, and I love that. Like it, it kind of picked a certain time, but like, it, I mean, it's called the Journey to Hogwarts, and they do a really good job with encapsulating that. It has really good printed like accessory pieces it's the first time we're getting the cake ha uh, haggard gave to harry um we get the king's cross ticket um a printed king's cross like thing which is really cool we get a leaky cauldron sign which we've never gotten before um just a ton of really good printed pieces and like we've not gotten a gringotts yet in the reboot but this has some gringotts pieces so i'm hopeful that comes soon um but this is just so good like it is so good and has been so much fun to open day to day also I think five of six of these figures are exclusive. Really? Yeah. Um, the only one that isn't is Harry. Uh, Harry only comes in Diagon Alleys. Yeah. Um, though the the Hermione, Ron, and uh, Drake. Yeah, they're going to be reprinted, and also they all use the same torso. Yeah, so, so that is cool. This is our first time getting the on like the no house Hogwarts. Yeah, I'm sort of Hogwarts torso. That's pretty cool. Also, I noticed this when we were streaming, I'm not streaming, recording last night, but uh, Dudley has the pigtail, and that is awesome. Like, I did not notice that at first, and that yeah, is that's so cool. Um, also, Gringotts Man has, I think, a new face, because I don't recognize both of these sides, so that's cool. Uh, great, great figure selection here. Really, like, really, they, this is a good one. Oh, that's it. Oh. And that is it. That is every LEGO I've encountered I've ever gotten. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, you said your favorite. Mine's probably 20 Every fig. Um, yeah, my favorites are probably this one and 2020 Star Wars. 2020? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I, for some reason I thought this year was still... No, it's not. That one sucks. <laughs> no, it is not. Uh, it doesn't suck. Not. It's far from my... 20... Yeah. One... It just... Yeah. Um, but yeah, those, that's every I've encountered. One more themed ones, because the past, I guess, this year kind of broke out with Marvel, and we got Harry Potter, Harry Potter started, oh, but, I don't know, for a long time, it's just been Friend City Star Wars. Or, it was a Minions Advent calendar. Yeah, honestly, I'd be okay with that. But That's more interesting than the 50th Friends and City one. 
That would be so good. Imagine getting like a Bob the Minion Santa with like two elf minions and just like, <laughs> really goofy builds. <laughs> but like, I don't know, the back when we had Pirates Advent Counter and Castle Advent Counter, like bring me back. And ki the Kingdom's Advent Calendar is really solid. That one's that one's up it's there. It's a honestly. video advent calendar. Dude, video advent calendar? That would Sick. be kind of fire, not gonna lie. No, it wouldn't. Uh, could you imagine? It would cost, uh... $80. Yeah. <laughs> it would cost $80 if you open every single day and it just comes with a random minifigure and they're all gonna end up being the same. No, it costs $80, but it's only for 12 days. I was saying that was only for 12 days, and are completely random, and you have a chance for duplicate. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, Solid video moment right there. Bring back LEGO video. I feel like it's been too long without LEGO video. <sighs> Gone, but um, forgotten. Alright, uh, let's go over a couple questions, and then I'm getting very well, tired. Really quick. Real quick, I want to uh, talk about this LEGO set that LEGO can't. Ever talked about it on the podcast? Yeah, I thought we did, and I guess we didn't. No, so. we didn't. And I just want to mention it real quick. And I f you know what Lego's been up to recently. A lot of like these weird quality issues. Yeah. Um, so here, I sent you a Brick Fanatics article about it. I'll show you. Yeah, I don't know if you need to look at it. But there's this really cute looking like Santa's uh Santa's apartment set that was supposed to be a gift of purchase for I was like, wow, that's really good, I want that set. But it was cancelled because of quality issues that Lego would not elaborate on. This is our first time getting a minifigure Mrs. Claus as well, I think. no way. No, no, it isn't, because we got one in the Santa's house. It was the twenty fourteen. Oh right, yeah, right, yes. We but we've we've gotten her a few times. We got her a few times, but this was a new torso and Dress piece. Yeah. So it's like a. I, if we're being realistic, that will probably show up in build minifigure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If they produce this. But then, like, so everyone was like, "Why did this have quality issues? Like, it's literally just a room." And then people look a little closer, and the quality issues we assume are because the set comes with a printed naughty list that has readable names on it, <laughs> which like Lego. Like, are you make products for children? Did you not think about how that could be an issue? I don't necessarily know if that's it, though. I feel like it is. That's got to be it. No, th like, Lego was very particular about this stuff. And how? What other quality issues are there going to be in a room? And also, there's analysts, like there's Lego experts that like analyze these things. Like, okay, where are the illegal building techniques? What's wrong? Like, people figured out what was wrong with the Marvel deck. Yeah. Um, that that's the only thing people came up with was the naughty, list. and that makes sense because I know we got the nice list play this year nice list is readable not every name but there's definitely names you can make out but if we're gonna get the naughty list please just some squiggles like do not bring down actual text because that's yeah that's bad because <laughs> kids are that? gonna see that and be like no i'm not on the naughty list what mom why does lego say i'm on the naughty list because you are that's why you're not getting gifts this year <laughs> if you didn't get presents today on christmas it is because you're on that list <laughs> but, what, but, does, what does lego know that we don't i just it's a shame too because i love this set. i might have actually gone out and tried to get this gift purchase of it. this this was really good i think um it was way better than the one i got yep. which i still not built but like it does look good it's just not amazing yep yeah left sense uh Oh yeah, I guess I would save like a something else. Oh yeah, there's a Marvel set that has a quality issue, but we'll save that for now. Yes, because that's uh, actually like timely and. Um. Uh, here, here's a good one. You can make your own Christmas thing Lego set. The naughty list. The naughty list. The naughty list. <laughs> um, this one from Sam Wybun. I think I would like to see a proper Santa's world. Gotten that? Kind of. Like it, it, we've gotten a gift of purchase. 
And also, like, we got Santa's house, like, the North Pole, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, I looked up. There was a set called Santa's Workshop, but it was... Yeah, okay, so... There was a set called Santa's Workshop, and it has some elements of, like, what I'm talking about. Like, I like the industrial, like, toy maker, but I definitely would... Like, I want a proper, like, full workshop. Very industrial-looking thing, making a bunch of toys. Mine is a modular style Christmas or holiday set in the same vein as the 2021 Chinese New Year set. You know what? Actually, on oh, I would like winter holidays. Agreed. Like if we got like a Hanukkah, Hanukkah set, like even if it was some if we purchase, they're like, yeah. hey, not everybody celebrates Christmas. Agreed. That'd be really cool. Agreed. Got lots of Christmas diversity. My Lego holidays. I think it's a little disappointing they actually haven't explored more diversity with stuff like that. Yeah, well, I, we get Chinese New Year now, which I guess, like, it's it's a holiday from another. Very cool. Mm-hmm. And I, I love the Chinese New Year sets every year. I, I, I just, I want more diverse culture in Legos, whether it's a Christmas holiday or something else. Like, but stuff like the Chinese New Year or other, uh, other tradition holidays and whatnot. Agreed, agreed. Um. Alright, so we'll, we're not going to have a full conversation about this, but if we if we were to get an Ninjago Advent count, what would you want to... Like, what would, like, the baseline... So, I would want to see... So, I don't know how realistic this would be, but I would personally like Sticks Ninja in holiday costumes, Sensei Wu as a Santa, and one villain character maybe yeah i feel like all six having school pretty much impossible because lego barely gives exclusive prints to the that's let alone it. okay forget this six ninja in like their most generic suits released of the time santa sensei Wu, and some kind of holiday garment on yes i yeah i think i think that's good i i think i agree with you there or like the we, get, we saw that Christmas sweater Lloyd in that one, like, something like that would be... Like, I, Santa Wu would be fun, but I would be okay with, like, like one of the ninja. Yeah. Um, I agree that all of them should come, come in. It. I think, like, micro builds of, like, the bounty and the monastery and stuff, but I would also like to see... I don't know, like... I guess, the, like, things you could decorate your actual monastery set with. Destiny's Bounty. Holiday-themed things that, like, they fit in the world. I go. Yeah. You could like decorate your own set. That would be fun. agreed. And I would, if they do ever release a Ninjago advent calendar, I really hope they also do a Ninjago holiday special. Got yeah, a Halloween special. Yeah, I know. Um, oh, it would be. You also got a birthday special. Yeah, we have. I, Matthew wasn't aware of Happy Birthday to you. Well, I yeah, that's one word for it. <laughs> anyway, I think that's probably a good podcast. Um. I think so. Thank so, you. Merry Christmas, everybody. Celebrating Christmas. Um, as a Christmas gift to me, Matthew, please like the video. Please like the video. Leave a comment. Please. That's all I want for Christmas. Your like and your comment. That's so sweet, Sean. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that does it. I think that does it for... Oh my god, it's one... That happened. Um, five minutes ago. Apparently, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, press like, subscribe if you're new. I don't think we're going to do a funny outro podcast. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Yeah, enjoy. Everybody stay fun today. Podcast. Have a merry, happy Christmas.